in science, metaphysics is generally considered as being a no-brainer, not useful. Uh, philosophy in general is not useful uh, for us, mostly because the philosophy that is taught is mostly religious philosophy, and it's not of any use in science. So I thought the same about this essay on metaphysics that Collingwood wrote, and it said uh, that scientists hold presuppositions. Now, presupposition is an assumption that's subconscious, so that we all hold presuppositions. Uh, one example would be you drive down the highway and you assume that all the cars are going to stay on the, the proper lane. Collingwood also said a couple other things. He said every fundamental assumption has an opposite. For example, infinity has an opposite. That's finity. You know, either the universe is infinite or it's finite. The second thing he says about these assumptions is that they are not provable. You can't go to the end of the universe and, hey, it's finite or it's infinite. You can't do that. There are other assumptions. For example, conservation and creation. Those are opposites. Conservation says that the matter and the motion of matter can neither be destroyed nor created. And of course, creation says you can create something out of nothing. Now, one is a religious assumption. You can see where I'm going with this. The creation assumption is religious, and the opposing assumption is conservation. The opposite of creation is not evolution like a lot of the neo-Darwinists think. The opposite is conservation. And they don't emphasize this probably because they really believe in creation. The uh, evolutionists believe that the universe exploded out of nothing. That's the common conventional. So they're actually using a religious assumption. Determinism says that there are cause for, causes for all effects. And that, what that means is there's no free will. Every thought, everything that we all do has a cause, a material cause, by our assumption. Remember, we can't prove that. We can't prove that there are causes for all effects because there's an infinite number of effects and causes. But we can make that assumption, and that's, that's the difference here. A lot of people say that the difference between science and religion is one is based on fact and one is based on faith. And I beg to differ. Science is based on faith. Just like I said, these basic assumptions are what we use to be able to understand the universe. We need to understand that you, can, you know, like I said before, you, you can't prove either one of this. One of the assumptions is materialism. Yeah, the materialism says that the universe consists of matter in motion, and that's all. Immaterialism says, no, there are such things as spirits, ghosts, and so forth, and gods that are not made out of matter. They're immaterial. Even Einstein said, well, there are immaterial fields. For example, gravitation is an immaterial field. Uh, he even said that light was a particle, a massless photon. That was, so that's why Einstein was so popular. Many of his assumptions were religious. The interesting thing about determinism is that when you do something, like when you drop that book, it falls, right? And I know that. I can predict that. That's what science is all about. It's predicting what will happen. If I say this, what happens to a thing is determined by what's inside of it and what's outside of it. That's pretty clear. What, what happens to a book is determined by what's inside of it and what's outside it. If there's no readers, it doesn't get read. If there's no book, it doesn't get read. So uh, that's the interaction. And every single portion of the universe works that way. From the minuscule, from the infinitely small, infinitely large. But it doesn't have anything to do with any imaginary friends. What I call uh, my philosophy is univironmental determinism. Everything evolves. The earth evolves. Geology evolves. 
all the planets evolve. And we need a mechanism that includes everything. And that's where I, I talk about univironmental. Now, environmental is the outside. Uni univironmental is the combination of the inside and outside. And essentially what it says, and this is what the scientific worldview says, what happens to a portion of the universe is determined by the infinite matter in motion within and the infinite matter in motion without. There are two major errors you can make in philosophy. The first is solipsism. Now, solipsism is when you think you control your destiny. Uh, like the little 18-month-old puts a blanket over his or her head, and you can tell they think they have controlled the world. They, they made everything disappear. Okay? That's solipsism. The other mistake you can make in philosophy is fatalism. That is, you think the external world controls you. And that's what astrology is all about. That's what people give up when they become fatalistic and maybe are even suicidal. So what the proper philosophy is to get as close as we can to the environmental determinism. That is, the interaction of the thing with its environment. 